So if you're looking to make a move to the beautiful state of Florida, chances are you've been looking at several options here within the central Florida area. More specifically, maybe you've been looking within the beautiful city of Orlando. Now, Orlando does offer many brand new communities, especially master plan communities that are up and coming within this area. However, you oftentimes have to pay a HOA or a CDD fee with the purchase of a home within those communities. Now, other folks may be looking for an option that may offer a brand new construction home with great finishes, with no HOA and no CDD. And that's something that we have right here behind us. Hi folks, my name is Jose Reyes. I'm your real estate advisor here within the beautiful state of Florida. And today I've had the opportunity of taking a look at this brand new construction home here within the East Orlando area. Now this home is 2,706 square feet four bedrooms, three baths, that's right, four bedrooms, three baths, tons of great upgrades and finishes that I think you're absolutely going to love. Absolutely stunning home with inside, so I can't wait to show you this home on the inside. Now, this home is located about 12 minutes away from the University of Central Florida, home to the UCF Knights. If you're about 12 or 15 minutes away from Waterford Lakes area, where you're going to be able to find local restaurants and a lot of areas to get any clothing or any anything that you need from that area. You have local hardware stores within this area as well. Easy access to the 417 that takes you to the 408 anywhere that you need to go in any direction. About 40 minutes away from the Disney theme parks, 20 minutes away from the Orlando International Airport and about 15 minutes away from downtown Orlando. Beautiful home guys, absolutely stunning. Very, very elegant finishes within this home. So stick around and enjoy this home tour. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get this tour started. Now, the first thing that you're going to notice about this home, as soon as you pull up to this home, you're going to notice this paver driveway. Now, we know that's something that can be kind of costly when you want to have it installed into your current home. But nonetheless, this builder decided to go ahead and include that with the build of this home. Now, they do have the paver sidewalk leading up to the driveway, which is a nice detail as well. Now, this is going to be a two-car garage that like we mentioned earlier. However, you're going to see the garage momentarily and it has plenty of space there as well. But you can see the elevation here is kind of like a modern, sim simplistic elevation, which I think looks absolutely stunning uh, here in person. I'm not sure if the video is going to do it justice, but you can see that there's plenty of windows facing the front of the home, which you know there's going to be a lot of natural light coming in there throughout the day at least for the first half of the day because this house is facing east so here the sun go, comes up on the east so you're gonna have plenty of light coming in through those windows but let's go ahead and come into this beautiful home the first thing you're gonna notice is this nice tall archway here in the front of the home and your entrance you're greeted by this covered entrance here and this nice eight foot glass door that you're gonna allow you to come into the home which I think looks absolutely elegant now let's come into the home let's see what this home has to offer us all right so coming in this is going to be an open layout so very very nice design which you're going to absolutely enjoy throughout the tour it's going to be a split room design as well but coming in immediately to our left this is going to be kind of like the living room den area here in the front of the house it's kind of gives you plenty of options to do this, whether it's gonna be a formal dining area or if you wanna kinda of have furniture here for whatever reason, you got plenty of options. Now, tray ceilings here, and not only tray ceilings, you're gonna have crown molding in that tray ceiling. So absolutely nice detail here in the front of the home. Recessed lighting throughout the house that you're gonna notice, but you have that nice big window that we saw on the, from the outside facing the front of the house, you're definitely going to get a lot of natural light. Now, all the windows are going to be double pane tempered glass, so you know that the temperature is going to be regulated 
throughout this home, which is absolutely great. Now, here's the entrance of the house. You see these two doors here. Those are gonna be barn style doors. Behind that, let's go see what we have there. So let's go ahead and open this. Very, very smooth barn style doors here. Let's turn on the lights so we get a better perspective here. Nah, there we go. So recessed lighting in this room as well and throughout the house, like we said. But a nice space here, more or less, just a little shy of the same space that we had over here across the ways, but still plenty of space for you to set this up, kind of like if it was an office space. You definitely know a lot of folks are working remotely, so you have a nice little area here where you can use as a flex room or an office space here. Now, crown molding throughout this room as well, which is a nice touch. It gives it kind of like a luxurious feel in these rooms. Now, let's move on over this way. A nice detail here that I like is this nice opening here. Very, very tall as well. Ceilings here are gonna be fairly tall. They're gonna be more than 10 feet. They look like they're at least 12 feet, if not a little more. So definitely, definitely a nice open space since that ceiling is very, very high. Now, crown molding all throughout this area as well as you can see, which is absolutely beautiful. Now you do have pre-wiring here that's gonna allow you to choose the fan of your choice that you wanna install here in this area to complement your style of furnishing or whatever it is that you need or want for this area. Now, kitchen's here, but we're gonna take a look at that momentarily. Garage on that side as well, but we're gonna start on this side of the home because we have three bedrooms on this side of the home and two full bathrooms which we're going to take a look at now so let's go ahead and start right through here let's go to our right we're going to go to guest bedroom number one which is going to be facing the front of the home now very spacious room in here guys i definitely believe that you can get at least a full si uh, full or queen size bed in here and have plenty of space here to roam around comfortably now Ceilings here is gonna be around 9.4. So still have plenty of height in this in this room so you don't feel kind of constricted. And you're also gonna have recessed lighting in here which you can always switch that out for a nice fan. Now, you do have a closet here. Now these are gonna be kind of like a French style door. It's not gonna be that bifolding or accordion door, but plenty of space in that closet to kind of store all your clothes and any objects that you need to store for this bedroom here within this closet. But nonetheless, you got plenty of space here. It goes in a little bit of ways past this opening. So, you know, you can definitely put plenty of clothes within this closet. Now, let's move on from this bedroom. We are gonna come into our right here. This is gonna be the guest bathroom number one. So, uh, nice, uh, stone countertops here they used a, a black stone countertop on top of this white vanity and that nice matte black uh, uh, handles they kind of complement it we know that's trending these days same thing with the doors you have that matte black door handle here as well but let's take a look at this combination tub and shower so you're going to have a nice beautiful tile work here all the way from the tub all the way to the ceiling which is a detail that I absolutely love when these builders use in these homes. It just makes it look nice and luxurious. Nice matte black faucet here, um, and also the shower head, which is a nice uh, feature here. Now they have a nice little indentation here that they built out for you to put your soaps and your shampoos here. Kind of like an accent uh, tile that they put there as well to kind of differentiate from the rest of the shower, which I think is great. And they have a pretty big size tub here for you to enjoy, maybe a bath here if you choose. Now, coming back over here, let's take a look at that vanity again. Nice vanity here, uh, very, very spacious. Only one sink in this one, but this bathroom is gonna be shared by two bedrooms here only. So um, you definitely have plenty of counter space here and a lot of storage space on either side, which is something that a lot of folks are definitely wanting with these bathroom vanities. Then you have the standard toilet here, and then you have this nice window that faces that side of the home that's gonna allow a lot of natural light to come in here throughout the day as well. Now, behind this door, you're gonna have a small closet, 
Let's take a look at this. Nice linen closet here. You have five shelves here to store all your towels and any linens you need to put in this closet for these two rooms or for this bathroom. Plus you got plenty of space up here as well. So you could probably add some additional shelving if you need to, to kind of store up and use it, uh, this area more efficiently and maximize the use of the space. Now let's go ahead and get out of this guest bathroom. Let's go ahead across the ways here to our right. We're going to see another bedroom. So guest bedroom number two, this is going to face the side of the home here, but nonetheless, plenty of light coming in here as well. Beautiful, beautiful uh, base, ba uh, baseboards here. Uh, nice tall baseboards, which is going to be absolutely great. Now let's take a look at this closet, same size closet that we saw in the previous bedroom. You still have the room doors that open out, which is a nice detail, but there's your standard rack as well and plenty of space down below within this closet. So definitely a lot of storage space in these closets. Let me know if you think otherwise, but I think it's plenty of space. Now let's come over through here. Something that you did probably I should have mentioned was the height of these doors. These doors are also eight foot doors. So they're not going to be your standard six foot, you know, nine inch doors that you cut usually come in the build. So this is a custom built home. So the builder actually used a lot of nice details that make it look nice and luxurious. But let's come over this way. This is that open space concept. But we're going to talk a little more about that in a minute. We're going to come over to the other side of the home here. Now, this is a side of the home that you can either be used as an in-law suite uh, because you're going to have a bedroom and a bathroom. You have this nice archway here where you come in, you can maybe put a door here if you like to kind of give some separation there, or you can leave it open, whatever your desires are. But let's come over this way. This is going to be guest bedroom number three, or maybe the in-law suite, right? So about the same size as the other rooms that we saw. Yeah, so this one's going to have two windows, one that's going to face the side of the house and another one facing the backyard, which we'll see momentarily. But recessed lighting here as well. You can always swap that out for a fan like you would probably with other rooms. And again, just a lot of space here. And then you have that nice closet over here. So let's take a look at that one too. So we don't miss anything. So nice size closet as well. Same thing that we saw within the other bedrooms. Now, right outside this door, we are going to see that bathroom that pertains to this side of the home. So guest, guest bathroom number two, let's come in here and take a look what we have here. So a little different because instead of a combination tub and shower, you're just going to have a step in shower, which kind of makes it nice for if you do use this as an in-law suite or if you have any family members who have difficulty getting into a tub for whatever reason, this is just a safer option because they can just open the door and come on in. But nonetheless, you have that nice towel work that they had in the other bathroom. Uh, it's going to go all the way from the floor here, all the way to our ceiling here, which is absolutely great. And if you just notice, you have this nice window facing the back of the home. It's going to allow plenty of natural light to come in here as well. Now, they did not forget to give you a spot for your shampoos and your soaps. So that's a nice detail. Some of the builders are forgetting to do that. And then you have that nice matte black uh, shower head to kind of complement the colors used within this home. Now, right behind us, we do have that sink vanity. So uh, that black stone top here and that nice matte black uh, faucet there as well and plenty of storage space on this vanity also, and plus plenty of storage space down below. Now you do have this linen closet here as well. Let's take a look at that. So nice linen closet here, plenty of shelving like we saw in the other bathroom as well, which is, I think it's a great detail. A lot of folks are definitely wanting some linen closets throughout the house and this builder did not disappoint. Now. We did notice this door right behind me. This is going to be access to the backyard. We do have a sliding door as well, but let's take a look at this backyard going through this bathroom. Now, 
coming out here you're going to notice that they have ceramic tile here on the back patio this is a covered patio or covered lanai you are going to have some recessed lights here let's take a look one two and a third one right over there um, it's going to provide plenty of lighting throughout the night here and you do have a pre-wiring here for a fan now ceramic tile here which is going to have like a wood grain type of style which is nice this is something that's usually an option when you go with a private builder or they just have um, cement back here but this this is definitely a nice touch now let's take a look at this backyard this home is was built by the same builder i actually have a video on my channel about that home you may have seen it this is just going to be the same model but with a different interior now back of the home here you're going to have a beautiful beautiful view back here um this will be on a well however you know we can always see if that's something that could be converted to city water with this home but very very spacious lot you got plenty to do back here there's no hoa no cdd so you can always kind of rebuild this accordingly or kind of uh structure it, put any structures back here that you wish in order to fit your needs now let's go back into this home let's take a look at the rest of the house comment down below guys what you think so far about this house uh, if, you, if you would change anything of this home or what features you love the best now you do have three sliding doors here which is going to open all the way to one side so you're going to have a nice opening here to come in and out of the home but let's go back inside let's go back to the common areas and take a look what we have what we have there all right guys so coming back into this beautiful home take a look at this common area so you're going to have a combination of your family room slash den area dining room over here which we'll see in a second and this beautiful kitchen but take a look at all the space i know the video is not going to do it justice but nonetheless with those high ceilings and plenty of space as it is it just opens up this room very very nicely now one thing that i haven't point i pointed out earlier is that you have hard surface floor throughout the entire home so you're going to have this beautiful uh, wood grain uh, style lvp flooring all throughout the home so there's no carpet at all so you don't have to worry about taking that out when you purchase a home like this one now this would be your dining room area this is a nice feature it has three windows here very wide window allowing plenty of natural light to come in here throughout the afternoon since this backyard this, the back of the house is facing west we know that we're going to see a good sunset every single day and we're going to have plenty of natural light coming here but guys take a look at this elegant kitchen absolutely amazing the color the color choices here are actually kind of nice you know you have this black stone countertop all throughout this kitchen now this kitchen island if you notice is kind of like the accent piece of this beautiful kitchen nice white kitchen island and look at this storage space down here those actually open so you have plenty of space to store items down here look shelving you have nice shelving here you got three different cabinets where you can store more items here now let's close this back up but take a look at this so very very spacious countertop here on this island a lot of bar space here where you can put plenty of stools here to kind of entertain your guests or if you want to have a quick bite to eat here or if you have kiddos and you want to serve them breakfast here uh, before you get them ready for school you got plenty of space to do that here more counter space over here towards our left so you have plenty of outlets where you can kind of hook up a coffee machine or any other appliances that you need to do so here now look at all the storage space here plenty of storage space i absolutely like the dark gray color on these shaker cabinets these are at least 42 inch cabinets with a nice crown molding all over this kitchen which is absolutely beautiful now coming over this way you're going to notice look you have a nice stainless steel refrigerator that's going to come with the purchase of the home you got stainless steel appliances over here as the 
you have the microwave and your stove top and it looks like you have a vent where the microwave is going to be vented outside of the home so you don't have to worry about the the smell of the delicious food that you cook in this kitchen lingering too long now nice farm style tub kitchen sink which is something that that is absolutely amazing, just complements this kitchen very well and allows for plenty of space for you to do your dishes in those big pots and pans here in this, uh, in this sink. Now, this is gonna be a very nice feature here, a nice faucet that they put here in order to allow you to do your, your dishes here very, very comfortably. But nonetheless, very, very beautiful kitchen. I absolutely like these nice red pendant lights that they put over this kitchen island it just pops you know the, the red with the dark darker colors and the white it's just a very nice color choice let me know down below how you feel about these colors if it's something that you would change something that you can get used to i like it i mean it looks it looks different it just looks nice and elegant but let's go over this way we have a little hallway that we have not seen yet now this is going to be access to the garage which we'll see momentarily over here to our right that's pantry which we'll take a look at but here immediately to our right is going to be your laundry space now uh, the builder is not going to include your washer or your dryer however i mean that's an easy fix there's always a lot of appliance stores nearby where they're offering great deals uh, throughout the year which you can always pick up a nice washer and dryer or if you have your own that you want to keep anyways just bring them with you now you have this nice standard shelf here uh, where you can put your detergents you can hang up close to dry if you have some delicates that can't go into your dryer you can put them up here and they also include this nice cabinet space so you have this nice stone top uh, counter space where you can kind of fold your clothes or you can do uh, put some other items here as well and plenty of storage space down below i would probably put your ironing board here as well start store your ironings in here and do your ironing in here because you have plenty of space to do that now over here we did notice the pantry take a look at this big pantry you got four shelves on this side which is going to be a little longer than the space you have back there but nonetheless you got plenty of space within this pantry and you have plenty of space up above so if you want to put some more shelving up there you can absolutely do so and still store up you may just need a little step stool to get to those shelves but nonetheless you still have space to do that and have bright lights in both of these rooms in order for you to do uh, your necessities with in the laundry and find the things in your pantry more efficiently now let's go back to this door here let's go to this garage Oops, squeaky door sorry about that two car garage but nonetheless if you take a look over there you have extra space so nice white lights up above still have that matte black theme around these these uh these lights plenty plenty of light coming in but plus you have some windows on this garage door that are going to allow a lot of light to come in here throughout the day but take a look at this so not only can you fit two vehicles here you have this extra space here so if you have motorcycles if you have maybe jet skis or anything else that you need more space to fit in here you've got plenty of space here to do so or if you want to build out a workspace over here uh, if you're the type of person that likes to do carpentry or likes to do some woodworking or if you just want some space to kind of uh, have like a little man cave out here or whatnot whatever the case may be you have plenty of space to do so now Water heater is going to be over here. AC handler is going to be over here as well. And they have this nice wash station here. So if you want to wash your pets or maybe wash some other objects here within this garage, you got plenty of space there as well. Now let's go back into this house. There's that one space that we have not seen yet, which is going to be that primary bedroom, which is what everyone wants to see. So coming across this way, let's pass through this beautiful kitchen once again. Let's take a look here to our left. This will be your primary bedroom. Now take a look at this. Very, very spacious bedroom. A lot bigger than the other rooms that we saw in this home, which is to be expected. But nonetheless, I believe this is about 15 by 12. It might be a little bigger, um, but I'll verify that and put those dimensions down below. But take a look at these tray ceilings. So 
Very, very elegant. Same tray ceilings that we saw in the front of the home, but crown molding as well on these tray ceilings, which is great. And you have the pre-wiring there to put a fan of your choice here that complements the furnishings here in this room. And you have four recess lights throughout this room that's gonna allow a lot of light here. And then you have two windows that face the back of the home, which is gonna allow a lot of natural light to come in here in the afternoons as well. But nonetheless, very, very beautiful. That tray ceiling really opens up this room, just makes it look absolutely spacious. And I'm sure it's gonna be very comfortable when living in here. Now, coming in here, we're gonna take a look at this primary bathroom. Now, absolutely gorgeous bathroom. Take a look at this. You got a double vanity over here. So you're gonna have two sinks, one for either spouse here, which is absolutely great. And plenty of countertop here for you to store your items. You got plenty of space here to get ready for your day or to get ready for uh, bed at night. But you got a nice little personal space over there for you to kind of put a chair here and kind of get ready. A lot of storage space down below, which is something that folks absolutely love uh, with these types of homes. Now, you do have a nice window that's gonna face the side of the home. This is gonna allow a lot of that natural light coming in throughout the day. Plus you have all the recessed lights up here. Now take a look at the shower. So a nice big shower. There's no tub in this one, but this is a big, big shower. Now you can definitely shower in here very, very comfortably. They use this nice combination tile here. It's very, very unique. So it's a darker tile, uh, looks like stone, which looks absolutely stunning. Now a different kind of a hexagon shaped tile down here, but more or less the same concept of the tile that we saw up here and it's gonna provide you with this space for your shampoo and your soaps, which is great. Now, over here you do have a small linen closet, so the builder did not disappoint with storage space. So another five shelving here within this bathroom that's gonna allow you to store all your linens and your towels for this space. Now, over here, we're gonna have a closet. So nice walk-in closet here on this side of the home. Plenty of space for you to store all your clothes and items for this room here, a lot down below and both on these, these wire shelves. Now you can always remove these and add some more shelving and kind of uh, structure this to maximize the use of the space. But nonetheless, you have plenty of space here. Now over here, right next door is gonna be a toilet closet. So nice space here for you to have some privacy whenever you're using the bathroom and you have some water saving uh, toilet there. Now, over here back behind us, we're gonna have another closet, but this one's gonna be a bigger walk-in closet. Take a look at this. Plenty of space within this closet. I mean, let's keep walking here all the way towards the end, but take a look at all the storage space that you have here. So. You have these standard wire shelves all throughout this wall, but nonetheless, you have this big long wall here that you can add more shelvings to as well and use this space more efficiently. Definitely can go crazy with some closet kits in here and maximize the use of this space. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for the tour of this beautiful custom build home out here in the East Orlando area. Let me know down below what you liked about this home what features you may change of this home and let me know if you would be interested in to see in a home like this one here in the central florida area now before we get out of here let's do a quick recap of what we saw today and then let's end this wonderful tour
All right, guys, so that's going to do it for the tour of this beautiful new construction custom built home located out here within the beautiful East Orlando area. I want to thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this tour as much as I enjoyed showing you this beautiful home. Now, this home recently had a price improvement. This home was originally listed for $750,000. It is currently listed at $689,900. So roughly a $60,000 price improvement, which is an absolute great deal for a home like this. We saw plenty of upgrades within this home, hard surface floors throughout the entire home. You have the four big bedrooms and the three full size baths. You have that one section all the way in the corner that you can use as an in-law suite. If you prefer it that way, or if you have older children that need their privacy, they can definitely have a space back there in the corner of the home. Covered lanai would had that tile floor throughout the, the covered lanai as well. And you had that beautiful master bedroom that uh, had that beautiful, elegant bathroom. Not to mention that beautiful kitchen that is an absolute stand out feature of this home. Now, very close to a lot of areas, folks. You got a lot of local shops and uh, hardware stores, uh, shopping centers like a big uh, super Walmart. You also have a Sands Club down the road, not too far from here, 12 minutes away from the University of Central Florida. So you have children that are going to UCF. You, this would be a definitely a great location for for them to be because you're only about 12 minutes away from that area. If you're someone that likes to go to the downtown area, downtown Orlando is only about 15 minutes away from here. You have the Disney theme parks at 35 to 40 minutes away from this area, depending on which time of the day you decide to head out there. And if you're someone that likes to travel, you're about 20 to 25 minutes away from the Orlando International Airport. Amazing, amazing opportunity here within the East Orlando area. Big thing here, no HOA no cdd so you can do whatever you want with this yard as long as you have the proper permitting if you're going to add some structures if you're going to add a pool in the backyard you just have to have the proper permitting to abide by county rules other than that guys all the details for this home i'm going to leave down there within the description area if you want to request a personal tour of this property feel free to contact me at the number that you're going to see at the bottom of the screen i'm also going to leave the contact info to my spouse and my business partner Kyra and Bidegas down here below because if you can't connect with me on your initial try, you can definitely give her a call and she'll absolutely answer the phone and would be happy to assist you as well. We are the Regis team. We absolutely love and see it as an honor to work with our buyers and our sellers to help you make your dreams come true one door at a time. Also, down below on the homepage of this channel, you're going to find a link where you can schedule a calendar day with me. You can schedule a phone call with me. I personally prefer Zoom calls. That way we can kind of see each other face to face, even though it's not physically in front of each other, but we can at least see each other and get to know each other a little more. That way we can establish a strategic plan in order to turn your ambitions into an address. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for sticking around with me all the way to the end of this tour. Give me a call if you need assistance with relocation within the Central Florida area or anywhere else within the state of Florida. If you need to sell a home in order to buy a home, we can always help you with that as well. Again, contact myself or my spouse and my business partner. We would love to help you on your journey into the transitioning into another home. All right, guys. Well, take care of yourselves. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next video of the next home tour.